Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how to create a uh, horizontal navigation menu that will provide extra information or feedback to the user when they mouse over in the form of the text just beneath the hyperlink. So that's our plan of action, so let's get started with it. Um, go ahead and close that, and let me jump over to a new blank session. And I'm going to go ahead and put together a quick web page here. So I'll go ahead and pause the recording, turn it back on. There we go, so I've got a uh, doc type. Uh, definition for HTML5, title, meta character encoding, and uh, I'm going to use some internal styles. So go ahead and set myself up a little style section right here. Uh, to start off on our navigation menu, I'm going to be working in the body of the page. Let me zoom in just a bit more and make this a little bit bigger font for you. So in the body of the page, I'm going to do a relatively standard navigation menu. I'll go ahead and use a nav tag, give it a unique ID. And within this, I'll create a pretty typical unordered list. Each unordered list is going to have a list item that'll link to some web page. I'll just do a dummy link. And then hyperlink one. And what the hell? I'll do four items here. One, two, oops, one, two, if I can do it, two three and four. Excellent. Now the secret feedback, somebody, so when someone does mouse over a particular menu item, I want some text to pop up. And I'm going to put the text off to the side, outside of the link, but within the list item. And I'm going to enclose that in a set of span tags, which is simply an inline version of the div tag. So I'll just go ahead and put in extra info about link one. Close that off and just for speed sake I will go ahead and copy and paste that okay so there's my navigation menu it's an unordered list with hyperlinks and there are some extraneous text after the hyperlink but still within each of the list items so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and of course it's not that great to look at right now but if you're curious if I launch this in Firefox there we go, that's what my navigation menu looks like. So I want to start to clean this up a bit. Heading up to my styles, and let's see, I'm going to go ahead and start to work with my nav menu unword list. And just so you can see this in action, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, border two picks solid blue. I'm going to probably get rid of that before we're all done. And I also want to put some margin on it, I'll do 30 pixels. Um, top and bottom, zero pixels left and right. And while I'm here, let me go ahead and put a reset rule in. I like to do it. And I'll put in a margin of zero pixels and padding of zero pixels. There we go. A little bit of reset rule action. My unordered list will go all the way across the top. Now my list items within my unordered list, I'm going to go ahead and do list style type none to get rid of their bullet status. I'm going to go ahead and set their width to about 100 and uh, I'll do 160 pixels and a height of about 30 pixels. And that'll take care of that. And just so we can get them side by side, I'm going to go ahead and do display inline block. That'll get them side by side like inline elements yet still be treated like block elements. So I'll do a display inline block. And so that these items will be centered, I'm just kind of close that. Back on my unordered list, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, text align center which will center inline elements that are within a block container. And since my list items are now kind of like inline elements, that'll work. So if I were to save this, go back to my browser and refresh, we'll start to see that my hyperlinks are now side by side, centered within the unordered list, which is this blue bordered box. And just so we can really see, let me go to my unordered list, I'm going to set the height of this. There we go, so basically my secret text is going to show up down here. I know you can still see it at the moment, but we'll take care of that soon. Okay, so those are my basic list item rules. Now, to make this more like a navigation menu, I want to manipulate the hyperlinks 
within. So I'm going to go ahead and do display block. I want to treat my anchor tags like block elements. So then when I set their own width, and I'll do the same measurements here, width of 160 and a height of 30 pixels. And so you can see them a little better. I'll put a border, two picks, solid, and I'll just pick a gray and a background color of a light yellow. So now when I hover over these items, I'll be able to hover at any point into the little square portion. And if I want to spread these out a little bit further, certainly can. I'll do that with the list item though. I'll put some margin, zero top and bottom, and about five pixel left and right. And that'll get those menu items a little further away from each other. And now you can actually see where my span text is showing up in the right spot. And that's really what I want to have happen. So there's my anchor tags. I'm going to go ahead and uh, nav menu A colon hover. Background color, we'll just do a, a, a bright shade of yellow. So on hover, we just get a little bit of visual indicator on there. If I wanted to do other things like text decoration and stuff, easy enough to do. Uh, text decoration none to get rid of the underlining. And if I put in a line height that's equivalent to the height of the block, that's going to give me the effect of vertical centering. Okay, so now I've got some vertically, vertically centered menu items. So things are going great. Now I've got some span elements in here. So within my nav menu, um, I have span tags. And right now, a span is an inline element. I'm going to go ahead and change that. To a block. I'm going to set the width to uh, 160 pixels. And so you can see it in the short term. I'll go ahead and put a little border on there. Two picks solid red. And I'll do a text align center so that we can see that my text is truly in the center there. I want to kind of squish them up a little bit more though. And I could do this pretty easily by adding some padding in here. I could do 5 pixels top and bottom, 15 pixels left and right. And notice what's happening. It's pushing these out it's because the span is adding to the width. So whenever you're doing something like this, you want to use a new property of the, um, the um, box sizing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do Mozilla box sizing border box. I'm going to duplicate that and also have in the generic box sizing border box because I want these boxes to be exactly 160 pixels wide regardless of the padding that I use inside. So doing this will help ensure that they are exactly the width that I want and with the padding it pushes them down to two lines of text which is perfectly fine for my purposes. So now that we can see that the extra text is going to show up where I want, I also want to go through and hide them. Easy enough. Instead of display block here, I'll do display inline. So, I'm sorry, display none. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Display none and refresh, and now they're gone. Now, to get them to show up where I want when I hover over, all I need to do now is say, look, in my nav menu, let me scroll this up here a little bit so you can see a little more easily. In my nav menu, whenever I hover over a hyperlink, there is going to be a span that is adjacent to that anchor tag. So this is an adjacent selector. The span that's next to my hovered version anchor within my nav menu. And whenever I do that, I will set display as block. Refresh, and so now when I hover over, I'm getting this effect. Still, not exactly what we want, so let's incorporate a little bit of position absolute into the mix. My span, if you recall from the HTML, my spans are inside of the list items. So my advice is position things absolutely within a relatively positioned container. Usually, sometimes you might position within an absolutely positioned container. So let me scroll up to my CSS, and my list items I'm going to do as um, position relative and that won't really do anything for me at the moment but now when I go to my spans I can also set their position 
as absolute. And for now, I'll do about uh, 40 pixels from the top and zero pixels from the left. Okay, I picked 40 pixels from the top because I know the buttons they're trying to clear are about 30 pixels tall, so this will get them about 10 pixels below that. So now that I've taken care of this, refresh, now my text is showing up exactly where I want. That red border was simply a temporary thing, so I could easily go back and get rid of that red border. And of course the blue border up for my unordered list, that was a temporary placeholder, so I can save that refresh and now my navigation menu effect is complete so by adjusting the top positioning you could get that text a little bit closer or further away from the menu item and of course using your CSS you can control the font of that text have fun